Yo, welcome back to another like a life changing video. This one is about anticipating interactions, but when you do it in a negative way and how it fucks it up and how to not do that in a negative way so it doesn't fuck it up. All right. So I got a question on my Facebook group. When I ask them, hey, you have any troubles? What's your struggles right now? Boom, so much content came in. So let me answer this question. Being, uh, Jason says, being anxious about getting interrupted while stuttering or having people finish my, sen finish my sentences and then trying to rush through my stuttering or avoid it as a result. And then I asked, this is a good one. So like eliminating negative anticipation while speaking, he says, yeah, basically I find that I'm anxious about getting interrupted or having someone try to finish my word when I'm stuttering. And then that puts time pressure on me. So I already talked about time pressure in a separate video. Right now we're going to talk about the negative anticip negative anticipation that you have of fuck. Are they going to interrupt me? kind of similar to time pressure but very differently niche all right when you think about oh by the way my name is chase gillis i help people overcome stuttering the authentic way with no fucking speech techniques with no ear devices with no breathing costal breathing <laughs> or without reading out loud the the wrong way all right, without all that mainstream bullshit, the real authentic core you. Overcoming stuttering by finding who are you? Who is this person behind the camera, behind your phone, laying in bed, about to drop it on your face right now? Who is that? Are you fucking, are, are you actually funny? Do you actually have a good personality? Do you, are you naturally more assertive? but now you've become more passive. Who are you and what has stuttering sculpted you into? Removing that sculpture and becoming the most authentic version, most expressive version of yourself again. And then as a byproduct of that, which I talk about a lot, you stutter significantly less, but more importantly, you don't connect, neg you don't connect negative emotions to your stutter anymore so it doesn't fluctuate your emotions or your self-worth or any of that you can stay fucking authentic if that sounds something like is interested to you you can book now a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me where we'll dive into your sit dive into your situation and see what's up all right so that's that if you're interested click that right now but but i i i, I want to start this off with a story of when I was negatively anticipating speaking, which is fucking always in my journey, like years ago. And I will remember this specifically. It, it, it must've scared me or something, but I was in university and this is one of the few days after I made the pact with myself that if I know an answer or if I have a question to ask, I'm going to shoot my hand up before the sentence even forms in my brain. So I forget what the professor asked, but I do remember my answer was craft dinner. I don't know what kind of question it would have to be, but craft dinner was my answer. And I actually didn't even know the answer when he asked me, but I trust myself that I would think of it. I shot my hand up and I was like sixth in line, right? So I had to think about this for two minutes, two minutes. I was saying craft dinner or Katie craft dinner or Katie. What should I say? And craft dinner. I was going to stutter on by Katie. I was not, but guess what? The more I thought about it, Katie be, be also became something I was going to stutter on. So I was there with my hand up news to myself. I was like, I'm going to stutter and it's going to be bad. I knew it was going to be bad. It was, it was going to be K. Like I knew I could say K, but the D 
I was gonna say K. Like I knew it was gonna be bad. So of course, guess what? All those two minutes was just full of fucking anxiety, full of worry, full of embarrassment. So I got laughed at. So everyone, I was in the back. I was of course in the back of the class. Everyone turned around. I was like, what the fuck is this guy's problem? Why is he not speaking right now? And I don't even think the fucking answer was right. But there's a, there's a lesson with that. There's a lesson with what the story I just shared, shared with you. And it's that in those two minutes, I had my hand up. I was actually already living the outcome. I was actually already living the thing I wanted to avoid. I wanted to avoid feeling embarrassed. I wanted to avoid feeling judged. I wanted to avoid feeling anxious. I wanted to avoid feeling laughed at or being laughed at. But those two minutes, guess what? I was living in that reality. I was already anxious. I already felt all the things that I would feel if I got laughed at. I already felt all the things I would feel if I got judged. It was all within me already. And the outcome just like, oh, see, you knew you were gonna feel that way and guess what, you did. Now, if I was someone who wasn't fucking woke at the time, I would see this self-fulfilling prof self prophecy as just, see, I'm just not someone who can speak. It's just, I, I just can't speak and I'm just gonna stop. But what I realized was, I was attracting that myself. Based upon the thoughts I was holding in me, I was already living in that reality. So of course it's gonna to come to fruition if my reality is already that one I want to avoid. What, what, what difference could it be? It, it, if you're living in a reality where everything sucks, whatever the outcome is, it's going to suck. You attract your outcomes based off of your base off of your beliefs of them all right just know that you attract your outcomes based off your beliefs of them now let's flip this specifically to people interrupting you or anticipating the interruption let's look at the worst case scenario right the worst case scenario when you speak to a friend or speak to a stranger and you get blocked the stranger or friend will look at you and be like you mean puppet puppet right yeah yeah that's the fucking worst case scenario but no chase that's not the worst case scenario they will not respect me they will think i'm less than them they will i will feel frustrated i will feel anxious i will feel my self-esteem will drop why is that a part of the script why does that have to happen you fucking did all that and you did all that because you're living in that scenario, in that reality already. You, the story you're telling yourself is if they interrupt you, they look down on you. If they interrupt you, they don't respect you. If they interrupt you, fuck them, get mad. If they interrupt you, blah, 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 blah. You are telling that story. It's not reality. So you're also able to tell a different story. And I'm not going to go as far to say if they interrupt you, they think you're fucking amazing. That's a little bit on the del on the delusional side. But if you're in if you're into that thing, fucking try to ingrain that in your brain. But what I am going to offer you is two different ways to approach this now. The first way, which um, I'm not recommending, this is a, like my two ways are separate over here, right? This way over here is the mainstream way and someone interrupts them or someone finishes their sent someone finishes their sentence fuck them you tell them hey i'm someone that likes to finish my sentence can you fuck off obviously not that part but like can you stop like that was a stutter and guess what that does that not only does not address why you actually felt pain in the first place why you felt insecure in the first place, why you felt frustration in the first place. But I guarantee you the bond is not as strong as it can be with that person now. Depending on your tone of how you say it, 
but ultimately just saying it like that is just shows insecurity. So now let's go back to my way. The, the thing is you address your own inner shit first. If they interrupt you and you feel they don't respect you or it gets you mad or you feel anxious or you feel frustrated or you feel like your self-esteem dropped. Why? Why? It doesn't make any sense. They are another human being trying to help you. They have no ill intent. 99.9% .9 of the time, if they mock you and they laugh at you and say, you're, why can't you say that word? What, you stutter? You stutter? Are you an idiot? Like, then it's an ill intent. When has it ever happened, all right? 99.9% .9 of the time, they're just trying to help you. For you to take that on as your own hurt, does no good for the interaction but yourself all right real realize it's your own inner shit you have not let go of it's your own story you have told yourself that that if they interrupt me blank 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 xyz i just named this like six times and it's coming from a place of insecurity if you're already full if you're saying like i love myself regardless of what happens and someone finishes your sentence, it's not gonna fucking hit you. You're like, cool, all right, he tried to help me out. Let's continue this conversation. That's what's gonna happen. But when it causes a trigger in you, that's your own emotional shit still caught inside of you, energetically, you have not let go of, all right? So work on that stuff first, all right? That's the first thing, go inner. The second step, is then if they continue to interrupt you and interrupt you and it's just getting fucking annoying. It's like, it's not the point where it's angering you so much, you know, explode, but it's like, all right, all right, all right, yo, chill out. Just so you know, I stutter and I know what I'm gonna say. And I love you for wanting to help me out, but I'm, I'm just on a mission right now. I'm on a mission to finish my own send finish my own sentences all right so are you cool with that are you cool if i just yeah cool all right and that and that's it that's fucking it and if they continue to do it that's a great indicator of they shouldn't be in your life they just shouldn't be in your life if they're con continuing to not respect your boundaries then what's a better indicator of that all right but the main thing i want to do is go inner first go inner first and fix that and heal heal those wounds heal that story you've been telling yourself over and over and over again because it's just simply untrue and then you can go external all right once it gets actually a little bit annoying because all the power all the power you could ever have never comes from controlling the ex con con controlling the external because you can't you're going to be fighting a losing battle for the rest of your life. You're always trying to control the external. Always go internal first. So it doesn't trigger you. So it doesn't frustrate you. So for the rest of the day, you're not looking at looking at the world through a lens of frustration and anxiety and like warrior. Are they going to interrupt me? Are they going to do this? No, let go of that fucking shit. Heal it from inside out. All right. And then ex external light, like I said. And if you want to actually learn how to heal those wounds, how to let go of emotions, how to no longer hold the anxiety and frustration and anger inside of you. So once you let go of it, it won't stick anymore. Those, those interruptions or those judgments will not stick to you anymore. They will not actually cause a trigger but it just floats right through you. So that now you can speak in interactions without anxiety, without constant anticipation of what's gonna happen. You're just there and you're present. That's the, that's the fucking goal is presence. When you're present, you're authentic. If you wanna learn actually how to do that, the step-by-step -step guide with no questions, with no wondering, but the actual step-by-step -step guide a, B, C, D, you just follow these steps with me. 
by your side holding you accountable 24 fucking 7 that sounds something like you're interested in then click the link down below in the description where you can book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me where we dive deep into your sit into your situation see if and how i can help you at at, at all and see what your goals are all right that's that i hope this video was massive for you because I love you and all I want to do is provide you fucking value. It's my number one mission is to help people who stutter. So that's that. I love you. Take care. Peace.